Yo, what is going on guys and cool cheer and today I'm going to be showing you a guide on how to beat Skolas, the final boss of the level 35 prison of elders. All of you want to line up at the top of the stairs and run out the door all at the same time. This is to ensure that he doesn't scorch can in your ass as soon as you spawn in. One person being myself in this video has to be the designator, servitor, killer. He must have blink or titan and spam the A button while in the air. Get over to the servitor, um, stick him, shoot him twice with a solar shotgun and unload on Skolas. All three of you must have maximum Galahorn shots. So all seven shots from each person must be fired right away and he should be pretty far away from you. You can keep blasting and as you can see the servitor bonds weakened means that um, he he can actually take a lot of damage from your Galahorns. That's what the servitor death was for. Now another message just popped up saying that we he um, actually broke the servitor bonds in total. What this means is that we can do damage on him without the buff popping up. Now a critical objective will spawn when half his health is gone. Do not worry about it until Skolas is dead. After you're all done with your 7 Galahorn shots, all of you use a synthesis for 7 more rockets and keep firing on the bastard. Make sure you don't die because he one hits you if you're level 33 and this can be completed with all level 33s guys, it is confirmed. So shout out to I Love Noobs from Invigorate Gaming. He was the world's first completion of Skolas and he also helped me out with this strategy. It's actually his strategy. So big shout out to him for completing uh, Prison of Elders and finding out that very, very sick strategy. So all in all, it's very easy guys. All you have to do after that is defuse the mines. Um, some common questions I get is, do you have to have three Galahorns? Don't even attempt it if you don't have a Galahorn. Guys, you have to have a Galahorn. It won't work because you go through all 14 shots until he's dead. So if you have anything underpowered that's less powerful than a Galahorn, it just won't work. So another thing I want to talk about are the servitor bonds. A lot of people will get confused and think you have to kill another servitor. Once you kill the first one in that 20 seconds you have, um, you have that 20 seconds to actually take down his health to half. If you take it down to half, it will say that the servitor bonds are broken. This means that you can do damage on him now regularly without having the buff, so you literally don't have to worry about anything. If he gets too close to you once you're all shooting your Galahorns on that right side, start moving to the left up that little, um... I guess that vantage point, move to the left up that and jump down and keep firing rockets at him or go towards the ship. Guys, it's a very simple strategy that can be done in literally 30 seconds. All you need is good communication and Galahorns. That simple, guys. So drop a like if you enjoyed and this was helpful. Definitely, I will be answering questions in the comments down below. Subscribe for more daily Destiny content. And as always, and cooch out. Enemies die, you live.